get into the ingredients of this tapioca pearl slash sago porridge creamy and delicious so the ingredients are as follows we have some cinnamon nutmeg and bay leaf and clove and then we have some condensed milk pearl cream milk butter and the tapioca pearls as we would say in the caribbean sago now you see this nice chalk ish looking color we're going to put that in some water to soak for 10 minutes all right so now let's put one third of a cup with one cup of water and i'm going to let that sit for between 10 to 15 minutes once it is swollen once that process has happened you're going to place um, a cup and a half of water into a pot and all of the spices that i just mentioned the bay leaf the clove the cinnamon and the nutmeg you can use water but i like it real creamy and rich so i would like to use milk instead of water now you could use a skin milk or any milk of your choosing is what i really want to say instead of water you will still get a nice creaminess so i used um one teaspoon of nutmeg you can add more you can add less so once my 15 minutes is up you can see how much it has swollen i am now going to remove this water and place it into the pot so once I remove the water that I used to soak, well, most of it, I am going to place it in the pot. Make sure this fire is on medium-low. You want it to take its time. And how do you know that the sago is ready? You would know when it is no longer that color. You would more get something like a translucent looking pearl. So now I am adding half cup of sweetened condensed milk. You can add less if you don't want it so sweet. When it comes to my porridge, there is just certain things I really like with a lot of creaminess and this is one of them. I add half tablespoon of butter. You, you can omit it completely but also it adds a little bit of salt and a little extra creaminess with all the milk. And I'm showing you now the different color of the tapioca pearl slash sago. You can see translucent. You can see through. It's clear. So you know it's ready. It is cooked. So you pour and serve. I like this hot. I like this cold. I like this warm. I just like this. And I like it really creamy and nice. I don't like it cooked with water because I te it tends to be a little watered down. So I don't like it with water. I like it cooked with milk. And again, I'm showing you the different color in the pearls. It's translucent. So you're sure it is ready. And you could also add a little bit of ginger. It's all up to you. I do hope you try this recipe. I do hope you enjoy watching. Thanks so much for stopping by. And don't forget to check out my previous recipe. Have a blessed one, everybody. Bye.